Jason M. What's up, YouTube? Jason here, and today I'm bringing you the review of the Motorola Moto G. And this is actually a phone by Motorola made to introduce people into Android or made for people who don't have a lot to spend on a smartphone. For that, it has actually very low end specifications, but we're going to get to the reason why you should buy this smartphone at the end of this review. And you can see it has a speaker grill at the top with the sensors and the front facing camera. It has a very, very minimalistic design to it. USB port at the bottom, as you can see there, with a the microphone. At the back, it's just got a very simple matte finish with a Motorola logo, the speaker grill, the LED flash, and the camera. Right side, you've got a power button and a volume marker. At the top, you've got the 3.5mm headset jack and noise cancelling microphone. On the left side, nothing. And as you can see there, it's a very, very plain and simple device. It has a swappable back that you can remove the cover. And actually, you can get different colors and different backs from the internet. And this version is a 16 gigabyte version. And it doesn't have a removable battery. Nor does it have expandable storage. And you can put the SIM card by removing the back cover. The Moto G has a cool black slab design which I like. It has a 720p display which is actually nothing to boast of but the display is actually decent. Colors are okay and everything seems to look quite nice with good viewing angles. The display is quite alright and I don't think anybody is going to be disturbed with the display on this smartphone. It runs Android 4.4.2 which actually came to me directly as soon as I unboxed the device. Um, I got the OTA and it was just immediately there and what this actually does is it reduces system requirements and makes the device to just be extremely snappy. I noticed that using this device all in all the Motorola Moto G just performs outstandingly well. Swiping through the app drawer was a breeze. As you guys can see opening apps is just something very very good. I don't know how this thing is being done but it looks like KitKat on this thing just helps it perform optimally at the best level. Opening apps is really no problem for the Motorola Moto G and you should mind that this thing doesn't run the hottest quad core processor right now but it still performs like a boss just doing everything it's supposed to do very very well very admirably with good speed. Even multitasking didn't really seem to bog down this device. The only thing I found out was because of the 1 GB of RAM, some apps needed to be reloaded but there was nothing major compared to the performance because the performance was just really really good on this device. I was actually really shocked by the excellent performance of this device. I think all of this is also because it runs an almost stock version of Android with just very few Motorola customizations. Going to the camera is the same thing you're going to find on the Moto X. It's the same interface and it's a very very simple interface with almost no buttons at all. It has this focal point just right there in the middle that you can pull and drag to any other side. You just need to tap anywhere on the screen to take a picture and you, you tap one button, just one button to get to the video. Very easy as you can see. You tap one button and it stops. You pull in from any side of the display to the right and you're going to see the settings. It has panorama and slow motion which are actually very good features. One thing too that really impressed me with this device were the speakers. I really actually didn't expect them to be so loud but the speakers are just magnificent especially in terms of their loudness. They are rarely distorted and they perform very very well for speakers on a budget phone. Because it's Motorola, you actually get access to some Motorola apps like Motorola Assist which helps you set your phone settings to different profiles and different times of the day depending on how you use it and depending on how you arrange it. It can help you profile maybe a sleep mode or a battery saving mode or any different mode you decide to install into the Motorola Assist. It also comes with Motorola Migrate which helps you move from any phone that you were before of your choice, usually an Android phone or even an iPhone, it works that way. It's a very good app for migrating from one phone to another. I also love the gallery. The Motorola gallery is a very, very good app. It's very simple, very minimal, and yet it does what I want. It organizes the things the way I want by day or by time or by the shots I took, which is just very, very good, very, very handy. A simple, easy to use app. One thing I did really love with the Motorola G was the battery life. I never expected that this device was going to last me so long and so well. The battery life is actually very good on this. I got 2 hours as you can see for 3 minutes 
on just regular usage and this was just amazing you would never really expect a smartphone of this price to perform so well and as you can see my wi-fi and everything was on i was even using data too everything was on and basically it was just working very well good battery life oops skype call there um good battery life very good battery life from motorola moto g i was impressed and i think this is one issue that many phones have these days not very good battery life and the motorola g at this price has a very good battery life and not only not i can say it's a very good device it has the latest build of KitKat. It's going to get updated and the motorola g is just the best smartphone at this price range there's no other phone at this price range that can beat it and for that that was jason m signing out for this review if you like the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming up very soon on my channel